Seize the airwaves with WIXQ 91.7 FM, The Ville. Radical, renowned, real college radio.
We are back here on the air here in WIXQ 91.7 FM. It is time for the top five segments, or top five scary movies of all time. Frank, I'm going to go first, and I'm only saying that because you're probably going to disappoint a lot of people. So I don't want to be the one that tries to save it. I want you to ruin it. So I will go first, okay? Okay. All right, so top five movies. These are the top five movies Frank and I have ever seen. These are not top five movies ranked of all time. We could do that, but we're not going to. So instead, these are the top five movies that I've seen in my lifetime. So I'm going to start it out with number five, Halloween 5. Out of all the Halloweens, that was the one I've always been scared of just because I've seen it so much. Um, The mask is a little more freaky than the rest of them. And to me, it's a little more brutal. So that's my top five, uh, number five. Number four, I'm going to go with the Conjuring 2. This is my first introduction to the nun, and she is the only thing that scares me in life. Um, fictional character, but you know what? It could happen. Supernatural things could happen. Number three, I'm going to go with the first wrong turn. And it gets really gory. So I think that's what makes it so scary, is that is that aspect of it. So that I'm going to go with. Um, first wrong turn. All right, number two, we're going to go with The Strangers 2. Out of both Stranger movies, number two is actually my favorite just because it makes more sense. Instead of trying to break it into that house, they're at that campground. So to me, it has some comical relief into it, but that is the one where you get a lot of jump scares because you never know where they're going to show up or when they're going to show up. So uh, my favorite scene is actually when they're at the pool Frank, you haven't seen this movie, so I'm sorry. But they're at the pool, and they have Total Eclipse of the Heart playing in the background. And next thing you know, it's like a a distant camera shot and starts zooming in very closely on one of the victims. Well, here comes one of the strangers just sprinting full force up behind her. Up behind, I think it was actually him. So up behind him, and I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Next thing you know, he's holding a bat. A golf club, I forget what it is. He turns around and goes, whack, right in the face. And everyone else is like, (gasps) and I am just standing in the back going, yes, 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 yes. All right, so that was number two. Number one is going to be actually the nun. So because she is the only fictional character that I'm afraid of, the nun is definitely number one because you got to check out the movie. Frank, I know you haven't seen it, but you got to see it. The nun is a freaky 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 figure um there's mine so frank mr i hate halloween you go with your top five okay so my number five is get out i remember seeing it when it first came out and i thought it was you know kind of scary i mean have, wait, have you ever seen that one yes i have okay i have yeah it's a it's interesting i mean and that had like a little bit of like comedy in it but like Overall, it was still, like, kind of, you know, oh my gosh, like, what's going to happen next? So, I thought that was a really scary movie. Uh, number four, A Quiet Place. You know, that's the one with all the, um, like, you know, if you, like, make a peep, they, like, kill you. So, I thought that one was kind of freaky because, I mean... Is that with Jim from The Office? Yes. Because I'm like, you know, what, what if that happened in real life? And it's like, because... I'm I'm really bad, you know. I'm you're really, bad at keeping quiet. I am, so that's why if that ever happened to me, I'd probably be the one who would get killed. I'd give you up. If that was a thing, I'd give you up right away. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three, I have it because which it? Oh, the one that I think the more the original one. or the new one. The new one, because um, because you haven't seen the old one, have you? I have not seen the old mm. one. I saw the new one, but not the old one. But that's number three because clowns are creepy and it was a very very creepy movie and i did not like that and i i mean it was a good movie but i didn't like the clown part because i don't like clowns and they're kind of scary um number two i have the original strangers movie because that's one of my favorite 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 movies but you haven't seen the second one no i've not seen the second one because i heard it got bad reviews no it was it was better than the first one i'm gonna look it up right now and see it was way better than the first one it's it's a lot more jump scares. Well, the reviews were worse than the first movie, you know. 
It got 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. Who cares what Rotten Tomatoes thinks? I mean... Does Rotten Tomatoes help you pick out your clothes in the morning? Does Rotten Tomatoes help you pick what you're going to eat every day? I mean, I always look at Rotten Tomatoes before I see a movie because, you know, the critics might have a good point when they're, like, reviewing the movies. I mean... They're critics. That's their job. But, I mean, if a critic says it, then it's probably... If they say it's not good, then it's probably not good. Oh, okay. Well, if we're going into this... um you know, angle before you finish your number one movie. Well, then I'm just going to, I don't know. Let me think of a critique. Universal Gym is trash. Oh, I guess I said it, well, so that must make it true. But that's not a professional, like, critique, though. That's your What opinion. makes you professional? I mean... For critiquing. Because you're probably an expert in that area. How are you an expert? What makes you an es- expert in critiquing something? I mean, it's probably somebody who just... I mean... Has what? nothing better to do but to watch movies and critique them? I mean, I'm sure maybe they took some courses. No! Like, what the heck are you talking about? There is no such thing as going to class for critiquing. I mean, maybe they... I don't know. Maybe they have, like, You're some, about to get a strike from me right some, now. They have some kind of credentials to, like, be able to critique. Well, anyway, but that's not the point. That's a strike. The point is, let's get to my number one movie, which is The Conjuring. Which one? The first one. Because you haven't seen the second one, have you? No, I did see the second oh, one. Oh, okay. I told you this already, okay. but you didn't pay attention. No, so. I was too busy critiquing. Yeah, so you should listen up, maybe. All right, well, tell me. Well, it's number one because I always thought that was a kind of scary movie because, you know, I think the it's the one with the doll that like, moves around the air. It's just like, oh my gosh, where is it going? And I always remember the uh, scene where, like, they're playing, like, hide-and-seek or something, and, like, I think... I think something bad happened. That that's I forget, but that always reminds me of the movie. So there you go. Those are your top five movies. Yes. Okay. Wasn't too bad. No. Universal Gym is still trash, but that's alright. I think Planet Fitness is kind of trash. Who goes to Planet Fitness? Huh? Who goes to Planet Fitness? People who can afford it. Well, who goes to Universal? A lot of people. Nobody. That is not true. You're ignorant. How's step class going? It's fine. Maybe I'll try one out sometime. You should. Me and Eileen can talk it up. Mm. Or is that too much for you? No. Okay. You'd be welcome there. All right. Yeah, just join you and the rest of the moms that go there. Mm. So let us get... Oh, yeah, you know, speaking okay. of this, you know, I, you know the blog that we have to do? Yes. Oh, I, yeah, I update see... us. Everybody wants to know, so, update us about your gym blog. So I went to see Dr. Boyle the other day yes. for advising. So did I. And you want to know what he said to me? What did he say? He said, I liked your blog because I used to, I used to do <laughs> these step classes. Oh, man. Because he was like, you know, I used to do this you know, back in the day. <laughs> and then he was like, and then, you know, somehow it's like it kind of seemed like that it was disappearing for a bit. But then he was like, but I'm so glad to see that it's like, you know, back in action. Does he know you're the youngest person in your class? I mean... By probably what? Probably a 20-year difference? I mean, I'm sure there's some people around my age or younger than me. I've seen people there. Around your age? Yes, around my age. Really? Yes, really. That's a lie. That's not a lie. Because, <laughs> like I said, you don't know. Cause... I'm glad Dr. Boyle liked it. Yes, I'm me glad. too. Dr. Boyle liked mine, but mm-hmm. I'm glad he liked yours. Yes. So, Okay. Did you want to update us on your blog? All right. So no, no, no. Tell us about your blog. What's going on in your blog this week? Because we have a blog due on Friday. It's supposed oh, yeah. to be a, close to a thousand words. So what's your blog about? Give us an idea. Oh, yeah. So mine's like the top five. So it's like my top five um, like advice tips for starting group fitness. I'm not going to really like get into that. But like it's going to be you know my like personal opinions on like how you will have success if you're new to class. So... One of them, I say, you know, this is kind of a no-brainer, but I always say, you know, you should bring a water bottle because it's important to stay hydrated during class. And another one, I'll say another one, uh, you should, like, introduce yourself to the instructor because, you know, she's not going to embarrass you on stage or anything. She just is trying to help you, you know, like, be successful. So those are some examples of how I think that um, you can benefit all right, all right. I look forward to reading this then. Okay. So you can check out 
Frank's blog online. It's actually uh, andrew.fitness.blog or on WordPress. On WordPress. So WordPress.com, then search andrew.fitness.blog, or you can look up AJ Frank 222. That is his uh, username. I don't know if that's gonna help. It does. If you put in the search bar AJ Frank 222, it takes you right to your page. Okay. I keep forgetting that's my usual. Yeah, because for the longest time you wouldn't give me your thing, so I had to actually look you up. Mm. And then I found it. So I keep updated. Um, the blog I have coming out, it's about the Cleveland Browns, and hopefully they make a turnaround. They play the Pittsburgh Steelers today. I think the Browns have a chance to actually win this game, actually. So oh, okay. we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So we'll get back. Actually, we have to do commercials quick, then we'll come back, do some more music. And we also have. Frank's free speech coming up and our inspirational and uninspirational quote for the week. So stay tuned right here on the Halloween special of What is Savage here on WIXQ 91.7 FM. Why does my laptop fan sound so loud? Oh no, my phone! I can only hear music out of my left ear. Headphones? Why? Is your device in need of repair? Fix It Chicks in Lancaster has years of experience solving problems like these. Located at 32 East McGovern Avenue, Fix It Chicks works to restore your Apple, Android, and Windows devices. From cracked screens and blank displays to broken speakers and defective batteries, Fix It Chicks is there to repair your gadgets. Fix It Chicks offers a free walk in diagnosis before you schedule your appointment. More information can be found at Fixit, C H I X. PA.com or by calling 717-826-6757. Do you suffer from severe lack of theater? Then try Cinemard. Side effects may include auditioning, directing, playwriting, or stage managing. Take every third Tuesday of the month. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take every first Wednesday of the month. At 9.15 p.m., in Dutcher Hall's Studio Theater. For anyone experiencing side effects for more than four years, please contact an agent. And remember to check the call board for more opportunities. Join Cinemart. It's dramatic spelled backwards. The following is made possible by Dad. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling all over it. <laughs> The Dad Joke. Corny, groan-worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. Why do you have to be careful when it's raining cats and dogs? Because you might step in a poodle. <laughs> and kids that spend more time with their dads grow up to be smarter, more successful. Can I tell you a cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> and with any luck, funnier adults. Why didn't the skeleton go to the dance? Because he didn't have any body to go with. Dad jokes rule. So take a moment to make a moment and give your kid a laugh. <laughs> it's as easy as going to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. <laughs> That's really funny. Keep it spooky this Halloween with W-I-X-Q. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul. Seal your doom tonight. Tore up the 
In celebration of our 50th anniversary, WIXQ has brought back personalities from the past to discuss their time at the station and just how much it has meant to them. My name is Eric Golden. I was a member of WIXQ from fall 2005 until the end of spring semester 2010. My show is called Living After Midnight for five years, even though for the last three and a half years, it did not take place that much after midnight. But I opened up every show with Judas Priest living after midnight. I love Motorhead, so I would I played a lot of Motorhead. I played a lot of Black Sabbath. There were some songs that I really liked because they kind of pushed the limit of what was acceptable. WXQ was really the only student organization that I had any part of when I was at Millersville. I met most of my friends through the station. I met possibly the biggest influence that I had in my early years, Doc Rock, through the station. If it wasn't for WIXQ, I probably would not have stuck around in Millersville. People wanted to be a part of this organization because they saw what a blast we had all the time. We had so much fun, just a bunch of people who otherwise would not have hung out with each other drawn together by this love of WIXQ. If I could have made like some sort of positive impact on anybody, you know, whether it's like somebody tunes in and hears my show, or whether somebody sees a flyer that I made, or whether somebody joined the station and ended up like meeting their best friend. I met my best friend Pat through here. I met my wife through WIXQ. So many things in my life would have gone completely different. And if I could make that kind of impact on one person, it's like if I could make that one person feel welcome, then like I think I had a pretty good impact. WIXQ, radical, renowned, real college radio. Do you want to get healthy? Do you like to swim? And would you like to increase your stamina? Then come to the Pasillo Pool, Monday through Friday, for their open swim hours. Visit millersville.edu forward slash campus rec for available times. And don't forget to bring your bathing suit. Fourth Wall Comics in the Manor Shopping Center carries a variety of hobby materials ranging from collectible card games to tabletop games, and of course comics. For more information, please call 717-208-3524 or go online and visit www.fourthwallcomics.com. Again, that is www.the4thwallcomics.com. Fourth Wall Comics, games, toys, and more. Millersville University presents WIXQ, 91.7 FM, The Ville. It's what's happening and what's going on.
And we are back here on the air here on WIXQ 91.7 FM. You were listening to What is Savage. We have about 15 minutes left in the show, and it's time for Frank's free speech. So, Frank, get it going. Uh, I don't know if you heard about this, but guess what? What? Um, so, you know the York Galleria, correct? Yes. So, I think... I heard like Sears and like some other like stores like closed over recently because apparently the world of retail is dying to some people. At least I don't think it's dying. But that's not the point. The point is, I heard that if this is true, this will be wonderful. But um, I heard that they might build a mini casino there. How does that sound? I like that. They should actually just put it in Park City. But you know what? That's me. I mean. I don't know. I don't know if we need one at Park City though. Why? I don't know why? Why? Because we need. I don't know. I just feel like. Let me guess. You want a Cheesecake Factory or Dave and Buster's? I, no, at I don't the want. Mall. I don't want Dave and Buster. I don't want Dave. And you Buster's. want the Cheesecake Factory? You know factory. what? Here's my thing. If you're gonna put a Dave and Buster's in there, you might as well just put a casino in there because. I, I mean, think you should put a casino in there. Well, they could put both. I'm really pushing for the casino. I mean, I don't, I don't want to travel to. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna put one there though. But I mean, I heard that. Um, I don't know if it's a definite that it's going to be in York, but I mean, if it's true, then it means we won't have to drive all the way to Hollywood. I mean, even though I would still go there because I don't want to drive to Hollywood all the time. But, That's the thing. I, I want mean, to go. I want to do some, you know, some roulette, do some slots. Do some card games. I'd rather go to a closer place. Yeah, but I mean, it would probably be like a mini casino. Like, it wouldn't be as big as, like, Hollywood. So, I mean, I don't know if there would be, like, as many good, like, slot selections. Because that's what I'm most concerned about. Like, what's the selection of machines going to be like? So, that's, like, my worriness about it. But, I mean, I feel like it's a good location, though. And it would probably tr- attract a lot of people. So... The casino, that's what you're pulling for, then? Yes. For York or for Park City? Well, I guess, I guess both. I mean, it would be nice to have... I guess it would be nice to have, like... One I think York is just... City. York Gallery is just dying. Everybody's coming to Park City. Yeah, it is. That mall is dying. Everybody's just coming to Park City. Yeah. It's a place to be. That's why they should put more things in there. They should, yeah. That's why they should get rid of Shoe Remember, Carnival. M- no. Remember when they put that mini, that mini golf, like... Yeah, that was such there. a bad business idea. I know. <laughs> Although, oh. I've always wanted to try it, though, but I think they took it down a while ago. But That's stupid. I mean, I guess some, maybe some people like it. Who wants it. to go mini-golfing all the time? Honestly, who wants to go mini-golfing all the time? Right. So, but I don't we, know. But I do agree we need more fun things to do there. I agree. All yeah. right, so what else? what else is going on? Frank's free speech. Oh, I heard so. The other day, I was driving along Roristown Road. You heard of Metro Diner, right? Yes, closed. They closed down. Yeah, they've only been open for about a month. Yeah, two. like I kind of I always wanted to try it there, but it's too late now. So I guess you gotta try a different place now. If I want to go out to dinner or lunch. What else? What else? We need. Come on, give us some controversial opinions. I don't have any controversial opinions. Well, all right. Never mind. So, we have the unfortunate news that there were that there was that shooting yesterday in Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, yeah. The synagogue. Yeah. So, our thoughts out to those mm-hmm. who have unfortunately been victimized by that. Mm-hmm. Um, also had that fatal crash that happened in Warwick. Oh yeah, that's right. I heard and about that. And unfortunately, a student did die. That's not so, yeah. That's not good. Um, hopefully, the proper things happen for that. Reckless driver. Mm-hmm. So, lock her up. Uh, let's see. See, that's controversy right there. Yeah, but, I mean, maybe it was a true, like, accident, though. Maybe, like, she didn't do that on purpose. Like, mm, you're know, banned. No, no, no. You're, you're, no one can hear you anymore. You're banned. You're banned, you're banned, you're banned. Don't stick up. All right. Innocent until proven guilty. You didn't hear the story, did you? Well, I mean, I did, I, I did hear it, but I don't. We don't know if she was like drunk or not. It didn't never said that. Was she? And she led off on a chase. She led off. I didn't hear that part. Oh, see, banned. Strike two and three that from you. Strike. That's two strikes from you in one sitting. So, 
There we go. Frank's Free Speech, Frank's Fairy Tales, Frank and Beans, right here on WIXU. You can only hear it here every Sunday, 7 to 10 a.m. We're going to get back to a little more music to close out these final 10 minutes. And actually, we'll give it five minutes because we do have our uninspirational and inspirational quote for the weeks coming up. So stay tuned right here as we play some Johnny Cash. I hurt myself today To see if I still feel I focus on the pain The only thing that's real The needle tears a hole The old familiar sting Try to kill it all away But I remember everything What have I become? My sweetest friend Everyone I know Goes away in the end And you could have it all My empire of dirt Of thorns upon my liar's chair, full of broken thoughts, I cannot repair. Beneath the stains of time, the feelings disappear. You are someone else I am still right here And you could have it all My empire of dirt I will let you down Tonight's our over, Sandman. I'm so alone. 
Gentlemen, it's time for your inspirational and uninspirational quote for the week. Let's we'll start out with your inspirational quote so that you can leave on a positive note with your uninspirational quote. So let's get it going with do or do not. There is no try. That is from Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back from Star Wars. I think that's pretty, you know, good enough as a quote. Do or do not because there is no trying. Because a lot of people say that they're trying, but are they really trying? So I don't know. You go ahead, Frank. Uninspirational quote. Right. Uh, no one is in charge of your happiness except you. But should you really be charge of any? In charge of? Should you really be put charge in any? Wow! Just like you jumbling up all those words, should you really be in charge of uninspirational quotes anymore? So, I don't know. That's it for us here in WIXQ 91.7 FM. You have listened to what a savage. I think I found the solution and may have recorded all three hours of the show. So that should be up on YouTube this week. The first show uploaded in about probably a month because I've been trying to find the solution. So we'll see you right here next week here on WIXQ 91.7 FM. Daylight saving time. So make sure you readjust your clocks accordingly so you can still listen all three hours. That's right. We'll see you next week.